mental health illnesses are on a continuous rise in the nation, especially in teens. However, most people are unaware of why. Sure, the rise of technology is a cause, but what about the extra pressure that parents put on their children to succeed? Between 70 to 75 percent of adult mental health issues start to appear during adolescent years. Specifically, adolescents' mental health is affected by the way their parents interact with them, as parents shape their adolescents' mental and physical health, affecting their academics, behaviors, and futures. While each parent-child relationship is different, certain aspects of parenting styles are more beneficial. Adolescents have many experiences that they have to cope with, from school to extracurriculars. All of these can lead to an increase in mental health issues. Parenting is one major factor that can lead to severe consequences. Most parents today are worried about not being involved enough in their child's life. But what about when they are too involved? In today's society, we are seeing this more and more often. Parents think if they shelter their kids, parents think if they shelter their kids that they will not make any mistakes. But more, it is most likely that they will, it is more likely that they will make a mistake that will ruin their life forever. I'm here to say that parents that are over-involved are, is just as harmful as parents not being involved enough. Parents are oftentimes not aware of the effects that they have on their children. Most experts today suggest that parents need to be an abundant part of their child's life. But where does this line need to be drawn? When a kid is given strict rules their whole life, with little to no clarity behind said rules, it would make sense if they, when they were given freedom, that they went a little crazy when their parents are not standing on top of them. What happens when they fail their first class in college? And they are scared to tell their parents about what happened, because they are not sure what is going to happen when they do. So they get depressed or anxious. But parents think, how can this be harmful? We don't want our child to fail or make the same mistakes that we made. But failing also allows them to prosper. It allows them to learn more than when they succeed. According to a study done by the University of Illinois, successful kids have a healthy relationship with their parents. These parents are not wrapped up in grades and extracurriculars, but they are actually worried about how their kids are doing. It is often crazy to think that parents forget to ask their kids about how they are doing in regards to stress. They think that pushing their, their kids is beneficial. But what about all the childhood that they miss? What about all the memories they could have made or the mistakes that they could have learned from? These are all also important to the overall success of the child. We are defining success based on grades, but what we really should be defining it on is based on the person that the child becomes. Parents want their children to be the best, but how are they defining it? They think that if they fail, that they're not going to do well, but failing is just as important as it probably teaches you more than succeeding. We forget that millionaires didn't wake up one morning and say they wanted to become a millionaire, but they made mistakes and they learned from them. Sometimes they were not even capable of going over an obstacle, but you know what? They became better people because of it. Parents need to stop making their children's accomplishments a competition. No matter the size of an accomplishment, they need to applaud it. Parents also need to see failure as a learning experience and also see that success is becoming very subjective to societal standards. Parents want their children to end up well. End up well. They want them to be the best, number one. But no one is the best at everything. They need to stop seeing grades as being how we define success, but see the drive to continue to aim for a purpose as something that makes you successful. When someone has a drive to succeed, no matter if they are naturally good at something, their will to persevere will make them succeed. But when someone is scared to fail, they are not even going to try to be successful. So how does mental health relate to this? Mental health significantly affects adolescents' potentials. When someone is mentally unhealthy, they're going to struggle more to be successful in life. 
This is because they're going to lose their passions and desires to do something. So how can parents make sure that their kids stay on the road to success while staying mentally healthy? It all comes down to parents being balanced. A balanced parent is going to elevate their child's successes. They're going to stay involved in their child's life, but they're also going to allow their child to, be, to make mistakes that will let them learn. Parents need to know that they have such an impact on their child's lives that most, more often than not, they are unaware of the extent. Parents today are being very selective from what preschool their child goes to to who they hang out with, thinking that this crazy control of their lives will help them be successful. But it really isn't. However, at the same time, they need to maintain high expectations. High expectations make the child want to meet them. They also need to be in a good example. A good example allows a child to see, to see what they are striving for. That is why a lot of successful people are educated working parents. A lot of successful people have educated working parents. What parents are doing wrong is not allowing their child to have freedom. With However, at the same time, they need to give them guidance in the right direction. Parents are measuring success based on intelligence. While this might show the child's determination, work ethic, and how smart they are in regards to school, it is not the most important purpose of childhood. Sure, their resume and reputation will follow them everywhere they go, but what about their habits and willingness to work? That is often overlooked as not being an abundant part of their child's success, even though it is. Oftentimes, people forget that successful people started at the bottom. They did all the jobs that nobody else wanted to do. They stayed late and did unrequired work. And they helped people when they didn't have to. Oddly enough, the har according to the longest longitudinal study known as the Harvard Grant Study, people who did, who did chores were more successful in life. You might be thinking, how does this make you more successful? Well, this is because it promotes a let me pitch in mindset. It makes the child think somebody has to do it, so why don't I? So it shows the child that they're not always going to get what they want or do what they want in life, which sets them in part in the workforce, which in turn makes them more successful. The Harvard Grant study also showed that successful people have two things in common. They were shown how to love, and not just people, but everything. And they had an extremely good work ethic. These people that have these qualities are more likely to go farther in life. Because even if they are not naturally good at something, they are going to meet their goals because hard work and perseverance will make them succeed. Parents also need to know that successful kids don't just do schoolwork. Being a kid is often, it, parents often overlook the value of being a kid. And this needs to stop because childhood is where a kid develops. And if they are, ra if they are forced to grow up quickly, they are, they are not going to become the person that they could have become. Oftentimes, parents give their kids a hard time about doing good in school. But even if they don't get into that Ivy League school, they can still be successful. In 20 years, ego aside, parents and children need to realize that it isn't going to matter how they got there, but that they got there. So I am here today to say that successful people do not have to be academically inclined. Success is not your ability to do something, but your will to persevere. Successful people fail, but the difference is that they get back up and keep going. At the end of the day, there are no set of steps that always make someone successful. However, a good, a good way to start is in the parents' hands. Parents affect how adolescents will land, in many land up in many regards. So what I want most people to take away from this, specifically parents, is that we need to start measuring success based on self-fulfillment rather than certain measurements that do not really define our successes. Parents need to stop making their children the ver who they want them to be, but rather guide them into the best version of themselves that they can be. Thank you.